Okay, so in this section, we're going to look at the layout of the Excel screen. So Microsoft has in this version of Excel for Mac, they've really looked at how they can bridge the gap between Microsoft users and Mac users. And you'll notice straight away, if you're coming from a Microsoft PC based version, it's very similar looking, more so than the last version. So when we go out, you can see here, first of all, the first thing that strikes us is the quick access toolbar. They've placed it up at the very top here, similar to the Microsoft version of it. And we have different things on it here, like save and undo and redo. We have the usual traffic light buttons up at the top left hand corner here. So the red one will close it down for us. The yellow one will minimize it, put it down to beside our trash can. And the green one here will put it to full screen. When we put the full screen, we're going to lose this menu bar. So it's the Apple menu bar at the very top. So the Apple menu bar changes depending what we're doing. So if I was to click into my maps, you'll see the menu bar will change to maps. If I click back into my Excel, it will change to Excel. So it's a contextual menu bar that changes depending on the application that you're working with. So the quickest way to get it is just click into the application anywhere on it and it'll make sure. If I click to my desktop, you can just see down at the very bottom left hand corner, you can just see an area of my desktop. If I click on it, you'll notice my menu bar changes to a finder menu bar. Finder is my desktop environment or my computer environment. Clicking back on Excel puts the menu bar back to an Excel menu bar. So it's a quick change for you. So if we put it to full screen mode, you'll see we lose that menu bar and it just puts Excel to full screen. If we want to get back to normal screen, we just hover across up at the top there and it takes it back down for us and clicking on that green button will take it back for us. So it used to be anyone coming from a different version of Microsoft Office, it used to be over on the right hand side. The green button wasn't there, it was a plus and a minus and you could go full screen and back from there. Okay, at the top right hand corner we then have this search bar. So it allows you to search for things on your sheet. A new feature to Microsoft. Again, they're trying to take it to, so it's more like the mobile apps. To the right hand side we have the small person here with this plus and it's for sharing. So if you have workbooks you can host them on a cloud. A workbook is an Excel spreadsheet, we'll speak about that later on. If we have a workbook we can host it on a cloud service. So like OneDrive and we can share it straight from here. This is a feedback section for Microsoft. So you can give feedback to Microsoft. Tell them if there's something you like or something that you don't like. Clicking on it you'll see will tell us what you like and what we can make better. So if you find that there is something that you don't like or something you think can be better, do use it. It's the only way it will get better. This button here then allows us to get rid of the ribbon. So you can see the ribbon is the next thing we're going to talk about. It goes the whole width of our window. So it's the home insert page layout. They've brought it in to be the exact same as the Microsoft version. When we click on this button, it just puts the ribbon away. It gives us more spreadsheet space that we'll talk about now in a second. Clicking on it puts it back down again. So some people like to work without the ribbon there, whereas others like to keep it there. We then have this ribbon that we spoke about. So the ribbon runs from left to right on our screen. And each ribbon has different tabs. We have the home tab, the insert page layout. These are the default ones that we can see, but we could put different ones on it. The home tab has different sections in it. So you may just see a small faint grey line and it's split up into different sections. So this section here was formerly known as the clipboard section. They've removed the word clipboard from the bottom of it. This would have been the font section and then the alignment section on different ones. So they just have them split up in different sections. You can see that each array of buttons is just separated by that small line. As we go through the course, we look at the meanings and all the different things we can do in the different parts of the ribbon. Beneath the ribbon then we have what's called the formula bar. So the formula bar again runs from left to right and it's where you can enter any formulas if you're someone who likes typing in the formulas as opposed to getting Excel to do it for you. So you can type formulas in directly into the formula bar. A lot of people just use it for editing formulas. So if you have a formula there and you want to quickly edit it, you can do it in this formula bar right across the top here. We then have the main spreadsheet or workbook area. It's made up of the different columns and rows. We will speak in detail later on about columns and rows and how to differentiate between the two of them. But for the time being, we just need to know that columns run up and down, rows run from left to right. In the middle, you can see then we have a number of different cells. Again, there will be a full section on cells that we can speak about. But for the time being, we just need to know that these are cells. We have different sheets at the bottom. Microsoft has now changed. It used to be sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3 in earlier versions like 2007 and 2010. 
Now we've gone to more one sheet and we can add different sheets there with a plus. On the right hand side you can see here we have the different options so the different view options. So this is normal view and then we have a different view here so we can change between them. We will speak about the different views later on. Further over on the right hand side we have the zoom bar so we can zoom in and zoom out. So you can see it quickly allows us to be able to zoom in and out on it or we can click on it and we can type in a figure and we can go to 100% or whatever we want it to do. You'll notice that a scroll bar isn't really present. I'm using a MacBook Pro Retina for this so I can scroll using my trackpad. If you're using a mouse you can also scroll with the mouse or you can drag these and you can see when we are not using it the scroll bar goes away. If I hover my mouse back over to it, it comes back for me. So when I need it, it's there. The very bottom row, we have a status bar. So the status bar is going to show us different things, like if we have numbers in there. So if I just type in a couple of numbers, and if I select them, the status bar will show us what's going on. So it's an average of 45. I have the two numbers in as 45. The count is 2. There's two numbers there. And the sum of the numbers is 90. So this is a quick way to be able to see if you have a couple of numbers. I change the numbers that I have in. So you can see now it will be when I select them. You see the average is 1429.75, the count is 4 and then the sum it adds them up. So it's a quick way if you want to just know what it is for yourself, you can select them and it shows you down there. So that's known as the status bar. So a couple of the main areas we have on the screen. At the very top we have the menu bar. Always here, runs across the very top. Then we have the ribbon, which runs across the whole width of the page. The toolbar, or the quick access toolbar by its full name, is here. The formula bar runs across the middle of the screen. And then we have the main spreadsheet area. And at the bottom we then have the status bar. The only other area we have is this workbook area. You can see here at the minute it says workbook 1. That's the name, so it's our title bar and it shows us what the spreadsheet is saved as. So it's a quick way to know what you've saved your spreadsheet as.